car. So what I'm gonna do is try to I'm gonna troubleshoot this for you. This is Club Car DS uh, 2002 uh, series, but it's a kind of series that has a potentiometer behind behind the V glide. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is check battery voltage, and what you want to do here is your black lead. This is your main negative. This is your main negative. And your main positive over here. All right. So we're gonna touch the battery. We got him forward with the key on, hook the battery up. We got 47 volt when you hit the gas. All right, when you hit the gas, you hear the cylinder click. See, all right, and the battery ain't dropping that much, so you know right there you have a good connection. And what we're gonna do here is, first thing we're gonna do, put the red lead on the main positive. We're gonna check the micro switch right here on the forward and reverse. Back it like right here, all right, what you wanna do, make sure it's straight, see, make sure it's straight. What you wanna do here is, it's gonna be your red lead of your meter on the main positive, the black lead on the micro switch, all right? Top post is 47 volts, bottom post is zero. When I put it in reverse or forward, battery voltage carries over. So that tells you that your micro switch on your forward inverse is good, all right? The second thing is, next we're going to go to your solenoid. On your solenoid down here, you got two small posts. Can you see it good? Yeah. You can see where we're on the cylinder. All right, you got two small posts, one there and one there. All right, and you can see what the voltmeter shows. You see the voltmeter? Yeah. All right. Let me hold it. Yeah. All right, when you touch a small post on the solenoid, <clears throat> when you hit the gas, you should get battery voltage. All right, you got battery voltage. All right. So then what you want to do is put the black lead on your negative. I just go to the controller and test the B negative on the controller. And then I check, this is your wire coming from your battery. So you got 47 volts there. On this side of the cylinder, when you, it's gonna show voltage, but it's just bleed over voltage. So when I hit the gas, you hear the cylinder click and you should get the same reading within a half a volt on both sides. All right, so that there tells you right there your controller is good. <clears throat> Next thing you want to check for on your controller here, you got the red, green, and yellow wire. Put the positive lead of your meter inside the red lead, the black lead on the controller. And you can see you get when you hit the gas, you got battery voltage there. So that lets you know that this is actually feeding the computer side of the controller. All right. And then you got your green and your black. This is this is owned from the controller, I mean from the V glide. If you look at this, <coughs> you can see one of them is a quarter inch post. Excuse the blood on my hand. <laughs> That's just how it goes sometimes. And the other one is a three sixteenths tab. That lets you know that the ohm reading is backwards. Instead of zero to five, it's five to zero. So what you want to do? Put your voltmeter on. We're gonna go to. Go to 20 ohms, 20K. Like this here. So you see I got see I got the, the leads. Right now, without hitting the gas, I got 5.87 ohms. If you hit the gas at full pedal, you should get zero. All right. If you don't get zero, you can adjust your V-Glide wiper arm and let you get full throttle. If this happened to start out above six ohms. <clears throat> the golf cart won't run because it senses something wrong with the pedal. But all you have to do in that case is take this red wire here and wire it straight off the key switch. So when you turn the key on, it, 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 it sends power automatically instead of hitting the gas. All right. Next thing you want to do is go back to DC voltage, which is volts 200. And this is how we're going to test the input and output from the controller. 
All right, we're going to go to the red lead. Where's the can see? All right, the red lead over here. All right, so this is the ground for the controller. This is the hot. When you hit the gas, you should get battery voltage. You right, got battery voltage. All right. So then when you hit the gas, leave your red lead here, your black lead on M negative. When you hit the gas, voltage should go up with the throttle. Let's see what we got. All right, we'll show, we'll show where we're at. Um, bolt. All right, hold it again. So we're going red lead on the solenoid side of the controller, black lead on here, which would be the M negative. When you hit the gas, you should get battery voltage. And you can see you're getting them Chinese shit. <laughs> All right, when you hit the gas though, you should get battery voltage out. All right, you see battery voltage full throttle, you get 45.5 volts under load. If you don't get voltage, if you have voltage here when you hit the gas, but don't have voltage here, that means the controller is not sending voltage out. But before you say the control is bad, make sure you have a hot here, then you have five to zero ohms here, or zero to five ohms, depending on what year the card is. All right. Let's see what we got here. All right, now, to test the computer, the yellow wire here gives the solenoid a ground from the computer, all right? You can see the yellow wire on the computer plug. I have voltage, I have battery voltage there. So that lets you know the computer's good. All right, now what you could do if the computer shows no voltage there, what you could do is just run your ground wire from the negative on the controller to where this yellow wire is on a solenoid and that'll bypass the computer because the computer, there's two sides to it. You got the running side, which gives a ground to the solenoid or you have the charging side. Sometimes the running side will go bad and the charging side will still work. So you can just run your wire from here to here and bypass the computer, all right? All right, man, stay tuned, man. I'll post more videos, man. If you got any questions, let me know, man. Hey, hit that like button for me, man. Hit the like button.